most of the summers we spent working, the, uh, picking fruit. Nearly everybody, all my friends, picked fruit. And the way you did this, uh, at 7 o'clock in the morning, or quarter to 7, you gathered at the clock tower up in, uh, in the center of town. And the farmers would send trucks in. And you picked the farm where you wanted to go and pick fruit, cherries, peaches, apples, whatever the season was, and uh, just climbed aboard that truck. And they took you out to pick fruit all day. There were varying methods of pay. You got a cent and a half a pound for cherries one year, or you got, uh, it varied between 10 and 15 cents an hour for picking. Doyle's uh, ice cream parlor up here charged 10 cents for a soda. So if you had worked all day at 15 cents an hour picking fruit, and then took the girl up to buy her a soda, which is 20 cents for the two of you. Took an hour and 20 minutes or so to uh, work to earn that soda. You had to like the girl quite a bit <laughs> before you bought her the soda. If you weren't uh, picking fruit, generally you were caddy. I'm talking about the boys. Now, what the girls did, I really don't know too much. But uh, the boys, uh, I did a lot of caddying at the golf course in those days. You got 35 cents a round and hope for. 15 or 20 cent tip. Sometimes you pick up a little extra money by recovering balls that were sliced off the first tee into the lake. There weren't as many trees along there now, and you could find a number of balls that would be sliced off, go down into the water, and you recovered those and sold them back for a dime or 15 cents. One winter they had a, a play pigeon shooting range set up <coughs> down by the right in front of the golf course, and a number of the men in town used to come down and on weekends and have clay pigeon shoots. The pigeons shot out over toward the end of the river.